How to install a unique home design's metal hinge screen door with easy adjust system. First, be sure to verify that you have purchased the correct style and size for your application. In addition, a required tool list is located on the front of the package. Carefully cut the tops and sides of the package to remove the plastic covering. Remove plastic and cardboard top piece and discard. Remove hardware from the packaging. Remove the sill expander and set aside. The hardware included comes with handle, easy drill template, door closer, screws, and fasteners. Once the door is fully unpacked, you're ready to begin installation. To determine the swing direction of your screen door, place it against your entryway door frame. If the hinge channel expander is on the same side as your entryway door handle, remove it and rotate it 180 degrees and reattach. The hinge channel expander should be on the same side as the hinges of your entry door. Once satisfied, reattach the easy adjust hinge expander on the correct side of the screen door. With the hinge channel now on the correct side and secured in place, mark a pencil line around the expander where it is flush to the top of the screen door. Write the word top on the expander channel. Use masking tape to mark the channel where any cutting will be done. Remove the easy adjust hinge channel expander. Using tin snips or hacksaw, carefully trim around the marked area. Next, measure the height of the door frame opening. In this example, it is 80 inches. Next, subtract 2 and 3 16 inches from the total height. In this case, the height is 80 inches. In this example, the total gives you 77 and 13 16 This is the total length that the hinge expander should be before installing the door. Using this measurement, mark the distance from the top of the expander channel. Use masking tape to mark off the area and write bottom on the tape. Finally, using a hacksaw or tin snips, remove the extra length from the expander channel. Next, with a tape measure, mark the door frame 3 16 of an inch from the top. This is where the top of the hinge expander will be mounted. Position the hinge channel expander on the entryway door frame. Remember to leave a 3 16 inch gap at the top of the door frame. Mark the locations of all hinge holes. Pre-drill using an 8 inch drill bit and fasten in place with the screws provided. Repeat this step for the other hinges. Once complete, open and close the hinge expander to verify that it clears the top of the opening. Attach the screen door to the hinge channel expander. Fully retract the screen door into the hinge channel expander as shown. Optionally, you can pre-attach the hinge expander channel to the screen door first and then attach the entire screen door to the entryway door frame. Slowly turn the hinge expander screws until there's an even gap on all sides of the screen door. Once satisfied, drive three screws evenly spaced through the expander and into the door as shown. Repeat this step on the interior side of the screen door. The Easy Drill template takes the guesswork out of correctly aligning the handle and latch mechanism. Attach to the door as shown. The back piece ensures that the interior screen door handle will not interfere with the entryway door handle. When satisfied with position, remove the back portion and close the door firmly. Drill the three template holes using a 5 16 inch drill bit. Assemble the exterior handle, noting that the narrow side of the spring faces toward the outside handle as shown. Attach the interior and exterior pieces of the latch assembly into place with the screws provided. Attach the strike plate to the surface of the entryway door frame. If the door doesn't latch completely, use a knife to carefully trace and chisel a recession for the strike plate to sit. Secure the strike plate with two screws. Verify that the door latches. Measure the current overall door width, including the expander channel. Next, measure the width of the sill channel expander. It may be necessary to trim the length of the sill expander as shown. Carefully slide the sill expander into place and test for proper fit. Adjust the sill expander until there's a quarter inch gap between the bottom of the sill expander and the threshold. Once satisfied, pre-drill three holes using an eighth inch drill bit. Fasten the sill expander to the screen door with the screws provided. The door closer mounting bracket attaches to the door frame on the hinge side as shown here. When attaching the door closer mounting bracket, the pinhole on the mounting bracket should be three quarters of an inch behind the inside of the screen door. Mark the position of the mounting bracket. Pre-drill and mount with the screws provided. Place the stopper on the door closer shaft. Attach the door closer cylinder with the short pin provided. Use a screwdriver to pry the pin apart. This will ensure that the door closer will not come off. 
attach the inside bracket to the door closer cylinder with the long pin provided. From the inside, close the door and mark where the screws will be drilled. Attach the bracket with the screw in the oblong hole and test the door to see if it closes properly. If not, adjust the door closer using the width of the oblong hole. Retighten the screw and try again. Once satisfied, attach the other screw to secure the bracket. And that's all there is to installing your own metal hinge screen door with easy adjust system by Unique Home Designs. Thank you for visiting HelpMeInstallIt.com.